In this video, we'll look at whether tin 2 chloride, that's SNCl2, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. To do that, we need to look at the neutralization reaction that produces the SNCl2. So you have hydrochloric acid, tin 2 hydroxide, they come together, they neutralize each other, they form the salt, the tin 2 chloride, and water. That's our neutralization reaction. Once we know that, we need to figure out the strength of the acid and the base so we can use these rules here to figure out whether tin 2 chloride is acetic, basic, or neutral in water. This table here is very helpful. It's a list of common strong acids and bases, so probably a good one to memorize. We have HCl, which is right here. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. Put SA up there. Tin 2 hydroxide, we're looking for tin 2 hydroxide. It's not on our list of strong bases, so it will be a weak base. So at this point, we know the strength of the acid and base here. Now we can use the rules to figure out if we have an acetic, basic, or neutral solution. Looking at our rules, we're looking for a strong acid, weak base. Here's a strong acid and a strong base. We want a strong acid and a weak base. So according to the rules, the pH should be less than 7. That means it'll be acetic. So in answer to our question, this SNCl2, when it's put in water, will form an acetic solution. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.